Today on the Ecstatic Productions channel, we're going to screen print some sweatpants. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And right now I just want to show you the setup and basically how we get to decide on where to put the logo on the sweatpants. So there's plenty of places up and down the sweatpants you can put a logo. It's your length that you're looking at. Uh, the longer the, the logo is, of course, the longer the board has to be. And it has to fit on that board. Your logo does. Your artwork. So remember that. You might be able to make custom boards when someone wants a really long logo on the side of a sweatpants. So, of course, you need a longer screen also. So the longer the logo, the longer the screen has to be made. So we have some long screens. We have some short screens. And that makes us be able to do either a smaller logo on the side or a bigger logo. You're looking at the position I think that it would be good at and that's about where we're going to screen print it and that's coming up next on the Ecstatic Productions channel. So here we are, there's our palette. It's all tightened up, it's ready to go. You can lay in your artwork like that and then tape it on there when you get it centered and you can just line up your screen to that or you can just lay your screen down and just put it in the center of the palette because what you're doing is centering your pants onto the palette and you're centering the artwork onto the palette so the palette is the key you want to center everything onto the palette and then make sure you center the sweatpants onto the palette also well, it gives you an idea I've just got it laying on there so that's what that's like now you can also do this which is you just center it on there you can see it real good center it onto the palette straight up and down it's real simple it's not hard work um, I like it a little off contact, so a little off contact. And we're just going to lay our black ink, which will look the best on that ash. Just some black ink, and we're going to screen print it. It's going to be really fast. So that's coming up next on the in Exotic Productions channel. Okay, for the video, I'm not going to... Normally we put a piece of Pellon on there and get it going, which is... I like to put a piece of pellet on there and then pull it a few times to get the ink through there and uh, make sure everything's perfect and then after that I put on my first piece of sweatpants and then I screen print it. But in this case we're just going to hurry it up. We're going to screen print this just the way it is. That means I might have to pull the squeegee like one, one time more or two times more but I'm confident that it'll look good. So let's get ahead and let's do it. So we got the ink in the squeegee in the screen got our squeegee out and we're going to do a quick pull on it and yeah, we'll probably be about two or three pulls we'll take a look and see what it takes there's one push it back two looks pretty good i think i'll do one more coat Now remember, we're screen printing with water-based because it's just one piece. I don't want to clean up the plastisol. It's a lot easier to clean up water-based black on the on these light colors like this ash. Works out great with the water-based. Remember, water-based takes a little bit more to cure, so you want to probably put it through the dryer a couple times. Some people even press it on a heat press. It will do it either way and it works good, but you want to make sure you cure it properly. Some people use an additive in their water-based ink to be able to make it cure quickly too. So there's things you can do with water-based printing. This is exactly how I would do screen printing a pant leg of a sweatpants on an ash sweatpants itself. Doing it, doing it right. It's done right here on the screen printing channel ecstatic production screen printing channel hope you enjoyed this video we're going to take it out we're going to put it through the dryer we're going to be done look at that screen printing on sweatpants you got it see you next time